there? That's him right there, just got gray hair. This is Father Rodrigo Borgia that's sitting at the head of the table. That's his father right here. That's his father right there. That's his father right here. They go his brother right here. His brother right there. His brother, the same image right there, and the same image right there. Here go, here go his mama, standing right there, when they're supposed to be 12 men, and there go his sister, Lucretia, sitting right next to him. There's only five people in this picture. That's why I say it's a lie. You've seen it, Esau, right? You see, he just, he just admitted he's seen it. But see, how come you can't see that? Why you can't see that? It's been here on this earth all this long time. We're blind. We're blind. We're blind. That's, we're that's blind right. Too. Blind. I mean, there's some kind of witchcraft yeah. or something on there. Man, man is embedded. It is with, huh? Man is embedded. This is the image. The disciple. But it's not. It's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. Look, brother, I mean, it's been, you can go on Showtime. They got a series called The Borgia. B-O-R-G-I-A. They show, it's, they call it The First Crime Family. This is the first, let me show the brother. The first crime family. Hold, hold up. This is the first crime family. Look, it's the same man here, Caesar Borgia. That's him right there. That's him right there. That's him right there. That's him right there. Here goes Daddy sitting at the head of the table. Look at Daddy sitting at the head of the table. Rodrigo Borgia here, right there, and right there. Here goes brother, same image, right here, right there, right there, and right there. Here goes his mother, that's a woman standing right there. That's his mother right there. That's his sister, Lucretia, sitting beside him. You see his two women, right? Can you see that? Supposed to be all 12 men. They Israelite men, they look just like us, man. They wouldn't look like this anyway. That's a lie. We the Hebrew Israelites. That's a lie, that's what we're here to tell you that we've been lied to all the way around, man. All right. That it wasn't too much more for you, was it, Joseph? Tell somebody, man. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, what's your name? Uh, my
number. Numbers chapter 6, verse 22. And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Most High bless thee and keep thee. The Most High make his face shine upon thee and, and be gracious unto thee. The Most High lift up his face. And they shall put thy name upon the children of Israel. So, coming up and they're being edified and we give all praise and glory to the most high for his word because we didn't write anything you know he gives all the glory for everything it is come it is done <laughs> it is come it is done so the spirit gonna bear witness with the spirit whether or not they are the most high let's go back to amos three i mean seven and seventeen As I say, we are the 12 tribes of Israel, and that's who we are as a people, scattered among all nations. Read this. Amos chapter 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus said the Most High, thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. See, our wives going to be a harlot in the city. I mean, our wives going to be passed around in the cities where we will go into captivity, slavery, and bondage. I mean, all nations will have their hands on our wives, and they have, because we've been in captivity under all nations. That's why our women who are our glory have been shamed. That's how you're going to be shamed, and that's how he has shamed you. That's why I went to war with one man. Right. And what the Bible says, you are, you, are, you are married to that man until he died. In the old school, that's what they did. Right. Women was with their man until he died. Straight up. And some stayed unmarried. That's how close they were with their man. But nowadays, I don't like you, so I'm going to get somebody else. You come in the adultery. That's adultery. That's why I say our women going to be a harlot in the city. Really? And thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. Sons and daughters fall by the sword. Look how they're doing in gangs. I mean, they got men, boys, little children in gangs, men and boys, women and girls, right? So they're gonna fall by the sword. What's the matter of the sword? The gun. Really? And thy land shall be the And thy land shall be divided by line. Thou shalt die in a polluted land. Now, here we are, well, in a polluted land. Here we are in America in a what? Polluted land. A polluted land, man. America nothing but a bunch of pollution. Look up in the sky. Yeah. It rain. If it rain on your car, okay, how many times you wash it? You got it sparkling clean. When it rain, you in what? Pollution. God. We're in a polluted land. Give me that in our first Ezra's 8 and 69. The pollution, this is a polluted land right here because it's not our land. We were brought over here. The ones that came over here was wicked. The most I sent the so-called white man to, to chastise you. Right. Who, the white man is his sword. He said he's going to live by the sword. Read. First Edges chapter 8, verse 69. The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests and Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. Yeah, but the first thing y'all do is think about the strange people of the land. You can't even think about yourself. Even for salvation. For your own personal self. 
So he said, we have not put away the strange people out of the land, these other nations. Read. Really? Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. Yeah, we in a polluted land, so what he say? Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. So being around the Gentiles make you what? Polluted. Polluted. <laughs> That's why I said you don't die in a land that's polluted. Because look at all the things that's happening right now. Right now, here in Los Angeles, a boy can go to school and say, I'm a girl today, and go up in the girl's bathroom from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. Yeah. A girl can say, I'm a boy today, and go up in the boy's bathroom, and the lockers take showers together. What do you think will happen with that? Huh. SB. What do you think will happen to that? Initial, whatever they it's gonna happen in January. It's gonna happen, y'all. It's already been passed, it's already been signed into law. This is a polluted land. All they do is promoting what? Promoting you not to have puppies. Homosexuality and, and, and lesbianism. That's all they promote promoting. Right. If you're gonna say a girl, I'm thinking the boys gonna pretend like they girls. <laughs> like they got a feminine vibration. To go up in the girls' bathroom, that's all they gotta do. Are you serious? Who gonna monitor that? Who gonna monitor that? How are you gonna stop the boys from working the girls up in the bathroom? In a, in a, we talk about elementary school. All the way from kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. That's the law right now. Starting in January. If a boy go to school, you know, come on. And you know the young these kids now, they're real smart. They gonna go to school, man, come on, let's get it together, man. We gonna act like we girls today. And go up in the girls' bathroom, in a girls' shower? Are you serious? That's been passed in law here in California. This ain't nothing but a catalyst for the rest of the nation. We don't see how that's gonna work. That's the law in January. Oh yeah. We'll talk about it the most I destroyed this place by then. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it though. We're gonna see the results of that. That's a madness, man. Yeah. Just like you talked the right, like you talked the Philippines. The islands of Philippines, you know. Right? You know he got something waiting for America, and especially California. You see what he did to the Philippines? He jacked it up, man. You think the most time they gonna visit California for this? They passing all these agendas that's against the laws of the most high? You think he gonna just say, he just gonna sit by and say, oh no, it's okay, it ain't okay. It's not okay. Not in the eyes of the most high. Either you're going to follow what he say, or he's going to kill you. Point blank. You think you're going to get away? He's, oh, he's our love now. That's what he done to us to get our attention. He kill us. Then he get your attention. You know how you feel when you go to a funeral? One of your homies been put to death? Or one of your family members been put to death when you love? That's how he gets your attention. He been doing it. He the one that kill and make a lie. Right. He the one that wound and heal. But see, you don't know that because you're too caught up in thinking about your own life and creating your own God, as you call him, the way you want him to be. But he's not going to work for you. Once he start to lift up the mercy and grace after the children of Israel, it's going to be too late then. That's what we here to warn you. Hey. And thou shalt die in the polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity for of his land. So we're going to surely go into captivity from our land. No matter how you look at it, the land that we was in Israel, we went in captivity, took us out of our land, put us in captivity over there, and he came over to white, he sent the white man over here in America to take us off our land here in America. He called us the illegal aliens. How the hell we the illegal aliens? When he came over here and took the land from the indigenous people that was here. Now who's the alien? But y'all don't want to accept that. No, because y'all a bunch of scared people. You got you all scared. Oh no, I can't, can't look at it like that. I can't see it like that. Well, maybe some of y'all might be Edomites. That might be your daddy. Why you feel the way you feel? It's a sad, it's a sad thing. Get Hosea 4 and 6, huh? It's sad, man, when you look at how our people are destroyed. He's going to tell you why, read. 
Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah, he said his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Read. Really? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because you reject the knowledge of the Bible, which is our book. Read. Really? I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Say, thou hast forgotten the law of the, thy power. I will also forget thy children. See? He says, since you forgot the law.